This is the new generation of contemporary artists in Afghanistan. These 10 youngsters were whistled down from over 100 candidates for a chance to exhibit here in Kabul. Often very personal, their work is inevitably inspired by the conflicts that have ravaged their country for 30 years. Each one of these pieces are saying something. It's about women, it's about war, it's about Taliban, it's about ministry, it's about and everything. It will cover their social life. And uh, as you can see, the heart is uh, made of a stone, which means these are the problems and these are their social lives, which has made their heart hard as a stone. Before the exhibition, these young talents went on an intensive two-week training course. Arif worked hard in this little studio to make the selection. He dreams of one day making a living from his art. When I was six years old, I started working as a carpet weaver and then I worked in a tea shop. These strips represent the pain. When I use the plasters to try and cover the wound, they don't heal it. The wound is still there. Kabul doesn't have many spots where young artists can gather and exchange ideas. Orna hasn't even told her parents that she spent her time hanging out here with the young people creating art. She says they wouldn't understand. Our circle approves of us and what we like, especially those who are artists themselves. They like these things, but when it comes to ordinary people, I believe they are more concerned about how to feed themselves, and they usually don't think about art, whether it is good or bad, and I think they shouldn't be blamed for that. That's one of the reasons this organization decided to run competitions for young artists. Here they're able to work in peace and hone their skills. What I'm hoping for these artists is that their art can speak for themselves and not their passports. So I want them to be abroad and to be accepted and recognized for the quality of their work, not because they are poor things who come from Afghanistan. At the end of the month, one of them will walk away with a prize of $1,500. But for these artists, one thing's for certain. Contemporary art is the future, no matter what the difficulties they face on the way.